In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a waitlist to your course sales page in Squarespace. So if you're coming up with a course and you want to go ahead and start marketing it and start getting people interested in it, then you'll want to set up a waitlist so you can let people know when you launch. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to do that. One with an email marketing system that's not inside of Squarespace, and then another one that is. I'm here in my Sway template. I'll drop a link below if you want to check it out. And this is the course sales page. I've updated this to play a little bit with it and reflect a course that my dog Bela is giving to other dogs. But I want to just take you through how it's set up now and how we can change this based on whether your waitlist is going to be collected in a different email marketing system or in Squarespace. And we can do it either way and I'll show you both ways to do it. So right now, uh, the course page is set up with enroll now buttons. So get started, enroll now, enroll now, and we end with an enroll now. So if you don't have your content ready to go and sell yet, you're creating this course, you can actually change those buttons to point people to your wait list. So if you're using another email marketing system like I am, I'm using ConvertKit. I'll drop a link to that below. It is my favorite email marketing system. Um, then you can create a wait list in your email marketing system, ConvertKit, MailerLite, Flowdesk, whatever you're using, and you'll get a link. So I have a link here. So let me just pop that in. And it is a get on the waitlist link for this page that I've created in my email marketing system. So what I can do is copy this link and go down and replace the button links with my link. And I'm going to change this from enroll now to get on the wait list. And I'll also want to make my button a little bit larger. So save and exit. So now when you click this, it opens in a new page and it has that wait list for you there. So you could go through and update all of the buttons to say, get on the wait list and link them to your landing page. So what if you use Squarespace campaigns or if you don't currently have an email marketing system, you can actually store things in Squarespace campaigns for free. So let me show you how that will work. We're going to go over to marketing on our website and go into email campaigns. Now you'll see that nothing is set up here yet. And that's fine. We don't have to pay for this service yet. We don't have to set anything up in terms of our domain name to be able to collect emails from people. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into mailing lists and we're going to add a mailing list and we're going to call it course wait list. And you could put your course name here to be a little more specific, but Bela, my dog is only going to have one course because she's busy chasing balls. So I now have a mailing list called course wait list. So what I'll do next is I'm going to go back to my website and I'm going to create a new page. So let me see. Um, this page is pretty nice. So I'm going to just duplicate a, an existing page to save myself some time. And I'm going to call this course waitlist. And I'm going to also update this URL slug to just be waitlist. There we go. So now if you go to um, baylistdomain.com slash waitlist, you can get to the waitlist page. So we're going to change this and it's going to say mastering your human one-on-one. -on -one. All right. We're going to put that here in the little text. I'm going to go to edit, paste and match style so that I don't have to reformat that. And this is going to say get on the wait list. And I'm going to just delete the section underneath. Don't need it. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a newsletter block here to this section. Now you'll notice this may look a little bit different than your editor. This is actually the classic editor, which means that you add blocks by clicking the plus icon and you go to newsletter here. 
but I'm going to go ahead and click upgrade for this section. That's going to put it in Fluid Engine. So if you are new-ish to Squarespace in the last couple of years, you're probably using Fluid Engine. So if you see Add Block to the left, that's what you're using. So I'm going to walk you through that process. So I'll click Add Block and Newsletter Block. And what I'll do is drop this underneath. And we don't need a lot of text here. I'm going to actually change my form name to Waitlist. And I don't need a title. I'm going to keep the description here. And I'm going to say sign up with your email address to get notified when the course launches in fall 2024. You could put something else there. It's also really nice if you want to offer your waitlist folks a discount. That's another reason to get them to sign up for the waitlist to get notified when the course launches in fall 2024 and you'll get a discount. There we go. Um, I'm not going to do a disclaimer. I just want this to be really simple. I want them to be able to sign up in no time flat. So let me go ahead and click save and exit here. It looks good. There is one more change we're going to make to make sure that they get on the right mailing list. So let's click edit, go back into our newsletter block. And then for storage, we're going to click Squarespace. And we want to make sure we put them in the course waitlist mailing list. So that's the mailing list we created inside of Squarespace campaigns. And we just want to make sure we're dropping them in there. Uh, I'm not going to send a confirmation email. I'm going to leave this just as default. So Google reCAPTCHA is enabled. It's not the one where you have to like choose crosswalks. It all happens in the background. Um, so I'm going to leave everything else as a default, except for under content, there is a post submit message that you can write that says, thank you, you're, and we're going to add, you're on the wait list for mastering your human one-on-one. -on -one. We'll send you an email with a discount code when the course launches in fall 2024. Okay, so that looks great. So let's go ahead and exit out of this and I wanna test it out. So I'm gonna drop in my email address here and it looks great. I'm gonna go back to my marketing email campaigns and make sure that I show up on this mailing list. There I am, perfect. From there, now all we have to do is set the buttons on our course sales page to come to the waitlist page. So let's go back to our course, click edit. And now each of these buttons, instead of going to my convert kit page, we'll remove that link and we'll attach a link. And if you click the forward slash button on your keyboard, it will actually show you the list of your pages and you can just click on the correct one, which for us is slash waitlist. And I'll go ahead and click save and exit. So now when we click get on the waitlist, it's going to take us to the waitlist page and we have the field to collect email addresses. All right. So now that you've collected those emails, when you're ready to email your folks about your course launch, you can go back to marketing and you can decide to set up email campaigns and use that to email your mailing list of waitlist. But if you want to use a different email marketing system, it's really simple to get those subscribers off your course waitlist. To do that, we go into the mailing list to course waitlist. We click these three dots and click export list to export the list of our email addresses on the course waitlist. And then it's really simple to add those email addresses to any other email marketing system you want to use. If you don't have an email marketing system, I would say consider starting with Squarespace campaigns. And you can always move later if there are features that it doesn't have that you decide you want. But in the beginning, it's a great place to start. It's really very simple to set up a wait list for your course on your Squarespace website. I hope you found this helpful and I wish you all the best with your website.